everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a video all about emotional fitness. And this is something that I have learned throughout the last two to three years. And I've had a lot of different experiences with it, okay? So this is going to be an exercise that will shift your emotions in 20 seconds. It's that easy. So I'm going to be going into a little backstory about how this affected my life and how it really changed my life. But if you want to skip straight onto the exercise, I'll put a timestamp here and all you need to do is scroll to that timestamp to start the exercise. So with this emotional fitness coaching, if you've never heard of it before, basically what you do is you say a certain mantra, a certain quote, whatever you want to call it, and you include what the emotion is and what it's about, okay? But we'll go into this a little bit more detail in just a second. So with this emotional fitness coaching, being the Scorpio self that I am, I am a very deep person. So when I go into an emotion, I go into it so deeply and it basically overrules me. So this exercise really helped me to go into all the different emotions I was feeling and it really helps you to combat your shadows and really helps you to manifest things more in your life. So it can be, it's all basically connected. All your emotions are connected to your manifestations. It's connected to finances, it's connected to love, it's connected to money, you know. I basically went into it because I was suffering so much with my mental health. It wasn't anything to do with manifesting. This isn't a manifesting technique. What I'm saying is when you shift your emotions, it can help you manifest things into your life, okay? So I used it as a technique to help me with my mental health, to help me with my relationships, whether that be family, whether that be any, basically anyone that I've come into contact with. And this can affect your life in so many different ways. Okay. With this exercise is you basically, as I say, you choose an emotion and you say what it's about and it can be completely disconnected to what it is. So when we get really in, enriched in our emotions, is we can, sh we can stuff stuff down that doesn't make us feel comfortable. So say it can be guilt, it can be something that happened 10 years ago, it can be something that someone said to you when you were five years old, when you were two years old, that really, really affected you and it might be affecting you to this day. So you might have anxiety that you have no idea why you have it. You might have depression, you have no idea why you can't shift those emotions. This will be the thing that will really, really help you and I can guarantee you, I'm not a professional, but for me, my personal experience, it really, really, really helped me, okay? So if you're not ready to go deep into your emotions, then you don't have to do this. You can just listen to the exercise and decide to do it later on when you're ready. Or you can basically just try it and see how you feel with it, okay? It's completely personal to you, okay? So, so let's get started into the exercise. So the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to sit down. You can stand up, but it's better if you sit down so you can relax, you can even lie down if you want. And what I want you to do is I want you to put your hands on your heart, okay? I'm gonna make sure I'm not hitting the microphone. I want you to put your hands on your heart. My hands are a little bit high because I have the microphone in my way. Put your hands on your heart and you say, I acknowledge part of me feeling and then you choose an emotion. So I have an emotional scale right here. And I'm gonna put it on screen. It goes from one to 22. So 22 is the lowest. It's fear, it's grief, it's depression. And then we have number one, which is joy. It's the highest emotion. And I'm gonna tell you now that any emotion is valued. Any emotion is completely fine. It can be the most awful emotion. All it is, is an emotion. It's only your attachment to it, okay? So it could be fear, it could be depression, it could be sadness. But if you can shift that up a couple of notches just by doing this a couple of times, then you will be so much more comfortable with that emotion that I can most likely guarantee you five minutes ago, you would have felt really, really uncomfortable with it, okay? As I say, I'm not guaranteeing that you're feeling gonna feel 100%, but it will make you feel a little bit better. It will take the edge off of it, okay? So what this is gonna do is help to gradually uncover emotions in you, okay? And you may feel the effects of this a few weeks later, a few days later, a few hours later, just letting you know, you might feel a little bit angry, you might feel a little bit uncomfortable, you might even feel happy. But if that comes up, then the best thing for you to do is to acknowledge that as it comes up, because then you can get rid of it. That is the best way for me to do it. That's why I do it, because it's like, okay, the sooner I can get rid of this, as soon as I can let, it's not really getting rid of it, it's like as soon as I can let it flow, the quicker that it, it's gonna go. That is the quote. The quicker you let it flow, the quicker it will go, okay? <laughs> And it's basically just valuing every single emotion and knowing that is totally fine. You are allowed to feel these feelings and not feeling bad about it, okay? So with the emotions is we have sadness, happiness, and 
guilt. Those are like the main emotions that people feel. With this emotional fitness guidance scale, it's gonna show you that there is more emotions than what you're feeling. It could be unsettled, it could be judgmental, it could be compromised, disgust. And a lot of those emotions we actually forget. And just an advice is when you're doing this, sometimes you actually forget what the emotion is. And that is really, really good because that means that your subconscious is protecting you from that. And when I went and did this emotional fitness coaching with the, with the guidance that I had, I actually had a coach helping me through this, how I basically know how to do this. And she said that basically some emotions that want to be guarded is like a guard dog. And just imagine in your mind, there's emotions that you really don't want to look at. And it could be emotions that you stuff down and you basically forgotten what they are. And basically you did that out of protection and that's totally fine. You say, thank you body for protecting me from these emotions, but I want to look at them now. And this can be later on into the, to the, um, in, in the fitness coaching, it can be later on. It's normally later on because you're dealing with really deep stuff. But for some of you guys, you could have dealt with a lot of emotions already. And this is actually some stuff that needs to come up right now, okay? So if you feel that, if you see yourself looking away from yourself, I actually have this. I sometimes look away. When I'm when I'm feeling something really deep, I've noticed that I look over my left shoulder or I look away because that's your subconscious trying to avoid the emotion. And that's totally fine. This is actually better to do with somebody else. Hence why I wanna do this video because I really wanna help you guys and you can do it with me. And sometimes you forget the emotion. So sometimes it's, you can write it down if you feel the need to, or if you forget it, that's totally fine. Maybe you'll come back to it later and maybe you don't. It's, it's all, in the divine timing, okay? That's basically what it's about. Let's get started. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to put your hands on your heart and you say, I acknowledge part of me feeling, and then you say the emotion. So I'm gonna do sadness. We're gonna do sadness about a friendship ending, okay? So that's what we're gonna do about. So I say, I acknowledge part of me feeling sad about a friendship ending. And I choose to let these feelings flow right now. And all you do is breathe in, breathe out. And then all you do is look kindly at yourself. And I look at my right shoulder. And you basically look kindly at yourself like you would a puppy. And you go, oh, like that. Just at yourself. And you just look kindly at yourself. And then that's it. That's all you have to do. So I'm going to do it again. But I'm going to not say anything when it's the emotion and the about. And you just fill in the gaps. Okay? So... So hands on your heart, you can close your eyes while you do this as well. I acknowledge part of me feeling about, and I choose to let these feelings flow right now. And that's it. So you can basically hold the space for yourself as long as you want. I don't need to do it for too long because for me, emotions are so deep, it just it just click quite quickly depending on the emotion. Some of you guys, you don't have to look at your right shoulder. I do, I like to look at myself, like at my body. Sometimes people look ahead. Sometimes you're just closing your eyes and you just imagine yourself looking at yourself or something like that. You do whatever you feel is best for you. But basically looking kindly at yourself is the feeling you get when you look at a puppy or a kitten or a baby and you just go, oh, so cute. Okay, so we're gonna do that again. So you can do this as many times as you want. I'm gonna do it three times with you. And all you need to do is fill in the gaps with the quote about the emotion and what it's about. And then that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do this three times, okay? Remember, deep breath in, deep breath out. Look kindly at yourself. There you go, okay? So it could be various different emotions. It can be sadness. You can go literally from 12, disappointment, to 20, to jealousy, to Number two, passion, okay? It can be many different ways. And we're also going to be doing embracing as well to embrace positive emotions after we've done this. Because sometimes it can be quite jarring and we feel quite exposed and that's normal because you've unleashed something, unleashed. You've not unleashed, you've, un you've released something, okay? So we're gonna do some more acknowledging and releasing and let's do it one more time. So we're gonna do it three times. So hands on your heart. I acknowledge part of me feeling about and I choose to let these feelings flow right now two more times I acknowledge part of me feeling about and I choose to let these feelings flow right now. One 
one more time. Remember, these emotions can be completely different. It can be a completely different scenario, okay? It can, it can actually create a different emotion and a different scenario, and it can be completely disconnected, you think, but actually they're really connected, okay? So one more time. I acknowledge part of me feeling about, and I choose to let these feelings flow right now. And there you go. Well done guys, if you did this with me and if you just watched me do this, that's totally fine. Well done for even clicking on this video. Um, so now we're gonna be embracing our feelings. So what we do is we say, I acknowledge part of me feeling and normally it's a more positive emotion like joy, proud, um, acknowledgement about how proud I am that I'm doing this exercise, how proud I am that I got out of bed today, that sort of thing, okay? We're gonna do freedom about doing this exercise today. I acknowledge part of me feeling freedom about doing this exercise today and I choose to embrace this feeling right now. Deep breath in, deep breath out, look kindly at yourself. Really feel those feelings, okay guys? You, as I say, you can stay in that uh, emotion as much as you want, you can stay in that presence as much as you want, you know, you do what you need to do. So. So I'm gonna say it with you, I'm gonna, you, got, you guys need to fill in the gaps now, okay? So, I acknowledge part of me feeling about, and I choose to embrace these feelings right now. Okay, so that is the exercise, guys. That is how you can shift your emotions in 20 seconds. So basically guys, you can do this as many times as you want. You can do this wherever you wherever you are. I do this when I'm exercising sometimes. Sometimes an emotion comes up because my body's moving and I'm like, okay, this is what I need to do. Sometimes I ask myself, what am I feeling? And sometimes I don't know what I'm feeling. Sometimes I just guess. And then if it doesn't shift, then maybe I'll do it later and maybe I'm just not meant to shift it. That is the exercise, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is a bit different than what I normally do, but I have been wanting to get this video out for so long and I feel like now is the right time because so many people are going through so much stuff. It is so important for us to acknowledge our emotions and know that they are all sacred, that they are all useful, they are all there for a reason. And even if it's the most horrible emotion, know that you can get through it and know that this exercise is really, really helpful. And if it didn't help you today, maybe it will help you tomorrow, next week, next month. And if it didn't, that's totally fine. Just the fact that you clicked on this video is just one step towards your emotional fitness. So. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. That'll really help me and to subscribe. And I'll see you soon.